Welcome back everybody, my name is Legit Lee, and today marks at part 9 for, or the ninth episode of my series for me working with Merlin, and for me working with my CNC machine that I had built a few years ago. And this is my Blender CNC machine that I have made in Blender, the 3D printing, uh, 3D designing program. And, um... I have all the motors finally working. There's four motors, two for X for the Y, one for the X, and one for the Z. So you can see this is Y motor number one, and Y motor number two is on the other side, on the left hand side, if you're looking at it in the opposite direction. So, I mean, if you look at it, hold on, if I go on the front of the machine. That would be actually the right. So if you're looking at the machine like how I would look at it when it's 3D cutting, uh, um, CNC cutting, or using the laser. You can see there's some laser marks right here. But um, this is the right motor for Y2, and then I have the left motor for Y1. And then I have my Z connected to this. Um, this belt, this is the T, T, the GT2 pulley and belt. And it's connected to this 500 watt spindle. And, um, I have all of the end stops that work. So I got the Y down here. It has a little bit of hot glue because I was having trouble trying to get it mounted with these bolts kind of I mean it's in there and it's not moving or anything and if I click on it you'll be able to see it light up see that little red LED hold on there it goes and then if I click on the x-axis LED you'll be able to see this one light up too and the same thing with the Y So I'm going to show you guys that the machine does run now. So if I go to my laptop, it's connected to this USB cord to my MKS Gen L motherboard. And I'm using for my stepper drivers, these are the TB6600 stepper drivers that you can buy for CNC work. And you can even use them for 3D printers, but nobody's really came out with a chip for like a 3D printer motherboard to be able to connect them up. So I had a really hard time trying to make it. I had to make my own um, connections. So I'm pro when I'm done making sure that this machine works, I'm probably gonna make some PCBs that will be able to make let people connect TB6600s to stepper mode, uh, motherboards, like how I got them over here. I had to solder and do a lot of stuff to get all these to really run but I was able to do it so now I'm going to make sure that you can see everything homing so I'm using Prontor face on my laptop so if I home the X you'll be able to see that the Z carriage with the stepper motor the NEMA 23 stepper motor that moves the spindle up and down you're gonna see that move over to I guess the right if you're looking at over it's gonna move this way so it's really going if you're looking at the front of the machine it's gonna move over to the left but if you're looking at the video right now it's gonna be going to the right I mean yeah to the right so there it goes counterclockwise to home it which is going over to the right in the video but it's actually going over to the left if you're looking at it directly like how I would look at it so it's moving all the way over and I need to make sure that the Z homes first I mean the X homes first before I do the Y because the X carriage right there is gonna help hit the Y's end stop over here so if I now that it's home you see the little red led is on so that's homed and if i use the m119 connection for 
prompter face over here. I'm gonna hit this, send, and it's gonna say it's triggered right there. Trigger it means that it's connected and it's stopped. So now we're going to do, and all the other, the Z, the Y and the, and the Z is still open because I haven't homed those yet. So first we're going to home the Y and then I'm gonna do the Z. So Y, and now you see it's moving towards us in the video, but it's actually gonna be going backwards inside if you're looking directly at the machine like how I would look at it if it's running. So it's going back towards the end of the machine. And there it goes, it just homed. And you can see the little red LED end stop is on. And now if I now that we got we got X and Y, now let's do Z. So I'm gonna hit Z now, and you're gonna see the carriage for the spindle is gonna move down. So that way it's gonna home. So home. Now you see it's moving down a little bit. It's going counterclockwise to be able to go down because clockwise goes up. And now I'm gonna get to the end stop over here. And there it goes, it just clicked it. And it's, it goes up a little bit when it first clicks it and then it goes back down and clicks it again and then that's it. So now it's fully homed. Now I'm gonna home it one more time. There you go, you just seen that, hopefully you seen that light, I seen it. I just don't know if you guys were able to in the video. There it goes. So now that's homed. The X is homed and the Y is homed and the Z just homed. So I got all three axes working properly now. So now I'll be able to start using my CNC machine to be able to make a whole bunch of PCBs. Hopefully the first PCBs I want to make is going to be for the A the TB6600s. So that way I can sell some of those to people that need them for like CNC machines if they're trying to make one and for 3D printers if they're using it for a 3D printer. And I do have I think like six more of these tb 6600s so i'm gonna make probably another video showing you what stepper motor you can probably use i'm gonna test out the fifth the t tmc's the trinamic 5160s that they got i'm gonna see if those can run nema 23s because i haven't seen a video on that yet and i do still have another two mks gen l motherboards and I do have a full Arduino Mega with the ramp shield. So I got three more motherboards that use 3D printers that I'm not using currently. So now that you see that the CNC machine is working, or at least pos positively working, um, now I'm gonna show you this little switch right here is gonna turn on the spindle. So one, two, three, spindle on. So the spindle works and I can adjust the speed with a little um a little um connecting it's a potentiometer that came with the um, machine with the spindle. So I can adjust the speed using that potentiometer. Right now I have it set to high or full. So I hope you guys are liking the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'll see you later. Goodbye.